Sure, we like to take you to restaurants on Tennessee Crossroads. And while the food usually takes center stage, there's usually a story there too about the people or the location. Well, this one has it all. Gretchen Bates takes us to an historic home on Jefferson Street in Nashville that thanks to a family is home to some very delicious brunches. Hi guys, how are you all? No matter what you order at the Garden Brunch Cafe, it comes with a heapin' helpin' of hospitality. How's everything so far? Wonderful. Well, it was a pleasure having you guys. Thank you so much for coming. That hospitality goes hand in hand with the exquisite home cooking that Jennifer Carpenter and her husband Carl serve at the Nashville Hotspot. To go with no peppers and no onions. My mom's from Baton Rouge, my dad's from New Orleans. They're both excellent cooks. And that Louisiana heritage equates to some fine dining. It's got a southern New Orleans type flair. I would say kind of upscale comfort food. But Carl and I, when we met, uh, he was an executive, so we traveled quite a bit. And I would come home and I was like, okay, let's try this. And so I would bring things back from when we traveled and try them out on the kids. And it was something they liked, and we would do it over. And so here we are with this restaurant. And that's pretty much how we came up with all the recipes. It was things that my children loved that we would have for brunch on the weekends. Everything's cooked fresh. Everything's cooked to order. Organic produce. Everything that we cooked, uh, it was always fresh, never uh, processed. So you learn to cook when you're cooking real food. That real food becomes a real treat, thanks to Jennifer and family, a word that's used a lot around here. It's totally a family affair from my son-in-law, who is the head cook. I have a son and daughter that are servers. My youngest son cooks in the kitchen. Everybody gets involved, and, and even the staff, the people that work here, you know, we consider everybody's family. So. And that consideration extends to their customers as well. We try to make everyone feel like family. Um, no matter who they are, where they come from, we want them to feel welcome. Well, you know where to come eat. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We'll take good care of you. Yeah. The Carpenters are also caretakers of a piece of Nashville history. You see, the cafe was the home of a famous architect. I'll bet you're familiar with his work. This used to be uh, William Strickland's home. He designed the Nashville Capitol. The story is that he lived here away from town, <laughs> which is like right around the corner, away from the big city to be here. So he would come here to kind of relax during the, the building of the Capitol. His dog was buried on the side. He had a love for his dog, and his dog was buried on the west side of the house. There was a little tombstone there, and they took it and put it in the Tennessee Museum. Um, but we still have the house. <laughs> well, the building is 180 years old. We bought it about 10 years ago, and it was in a pretty bad shape inside, really dilapidated. So we, we had to gut the place. We tried to maintain the integrity of the, the exterior of the building. Maintaining integrity inside the building is a menu filled with delightful twists on brunch favorites, including a particularly scrumptious dish that has attained legendary, nay, spiritual status. The Banana Foster Pancakes. Banana Foster Pancakes. Banana Foster Pancakes. The Banana Foster Pancakes. <laughs> They're very sweet. They're delicious. They're delicious. Oh yeah, they are delicious. People just cannot stop talking about the Banana Foster Pancakes. Just a, a, a piece of heaven, that's how I would describe them. And I was just running through my mind and I thought about my dad being from New Orleans and I'm like, Let's take banana fosters and put it on the pancake. They melt in your mouth. Everybody's trying it now. I always order a side of banana fosters pancakes to go with whatever I order. It's just kind of like taking off and everybody loves it. But it's that traditional foster that you would get in New Orleans. They are the best pancakes I've ever had in my entire life. The cafe is a treat for the most discerning palate, but you can also feast your eyes on the works of talented local artists. The inspiration for the artwork was just to have local artists and photographers bring in their art. We just put a call out that we wanted local artists to bring in their artwork. And of course our nephew was one of the first to, to come with some things, uh, but then we had several people that made pieces just for the restaurant. 
All of them are for sale. We've sold. The restaurant is ever changing because we sell the pieces um, for the artists. We don't make anything off of it, but we get this great artwork that's ever revolving. So um, that's kind of how it came to be. And when they bring in something, if it feels right, if it feels like it fits, we'll hang it. If not, they'll go back and get something that you know fits us. But we've we've been getting really wonderful stuff because of that. But the art is just the icing on the cake, the pancake, that is. And that's what really keeps folks coming back to the Garden Brunch Cafe. Good food and good friends. Oh, I've tried everything on the menu, and everything is delicious. Have you found anything on the menu you don't like? No, not yet. That's why I keep coming back. Four times in the last four weeks. <laughs> I always knew I could cook. But this is something different because it's just more than the food. It's just the, the spirit of the people and just being able to interact with the people like we do. And, and if they're having a bad day when they come in the garden, they'll leave with a smile on their face. I love it here. Feels like home. So I just want to say thank you for coming. It's a pleasure having you guys. Thank you so much for coming.